not change anything uh, in BC when it became legal. I think everyone's like, okay, we're just gonna keep on doing what we're doing. Let's do it one more time. Rolling down the street, smoking in dope, sipping on gin juice, lay back. On my mind, on my money, on my money, on my mind, just rolling in the street, smoking in dope, sipping on gin
So guys, we're just relaxing at that crank espresso bar at the Rambo subdivision in Westler, British Columbia. Beautiful place to be, chilling out with the Brancho and Lozen. So they're doing a, a sample menu tonight here. Uh, it's all free. They're going to be passing food around on their new menus. Uh, yeah, it's, so far we had the little uh, nacho sample. It was absolutely delicious. Good little noodle spot in Westler. It's a good place to be. Chilling out, man. Good to see you. Yes, senor. There's great food here, too. Uh, we all have a I mean it because uh, otherwise I would say nothing. Their food is the best. No, no, I agree. Food is great over here for sure. Love song I wrote. Well, I guess it was a love song. Now it's a heartache song. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Um, I think it's good if you experience heartache because that means you have a heart, right? I feel bad for the people that don't. And to be honest, before I met this man, I had never felt those feelings, and I thought I was broken. You know, you look at people that are in love, you look at the movies, you hear all the songs, and I was like, I've never felt that. Maybe I'm doing it wrong, I don't know. And, uh, and I met this man at a festival. He proposed to me the first day, which should have been a red flag. Uh, I just went with it, because that's what you do when you're at a festival. So he became my festival husband. We started a family with his neighbors, his camp neighbors, and it became a whole to-do. Um, but he lives in Victoria, and if y'all don't know Victoria, it's across the Pacific Ocean. You have to take a ferry. It's not super convenient. And he's a musician too, so we're on the road a lot. So we didn't really get to see each other a lot. We'd do the FaceTime and try to like text between gigs and calls. Um, you don't choose how it happens. So I wrote this song, it was kind of like, I can't wait to see you again. And I did see him again, and it's trying to recreate this feeling where, you know, lightning striking twice, uh, it wasn't the same. And before I was done writing the song, it was over. It's called Can't Wait. No, no, I can't wait. No, no, no. I can't wait. 
no, 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 Achilles. You're not it, but the sound you got me wrapped around your little finger. Your smell and anger until we meet again.